Hey guys, uh, we're here playing another TGC Tours National Treasure Contest course. For this one, we're at Nosset Head in Massachusetts. Um, and this is A. Granger 12. Um, he has created some really good courses. Last year's National Treasure actually was... Thank you uh, for putting that in there. Or is it... Was that the one? No, that's, that's what Rich you're talking about. Um, he had Germany last year, and he made a course that you would never have known was in Germany. I don't remember the name of it, because I don't remember anything, but it was really cool how he did that. And so I'm looking forward to something, like I know he's a great designer, so I'm looking forward to see what he's coming up, seeing what he's come up with here. Um, Massachusetts, this is going to be, I'm trying to think of the part of Massachusetts. Uh, the show Wings, they were in Nantucket. I'm wondering if that's kind of the area of Massachusetts we're going for here. Cape Cod. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's cool. I hate the Red Sox, but it's cool how he's done that for Massachusetts. It's a neat little Easter egg. Uh, Victor's not going to enjoy this course because there's no cars in the parking lot. He'll get over it, though. Hmm, lighthouse out there, that makes sense. Oh, we've got a town over here. We've got pools right beside the ocean. The ocean's cold. A roundabout, but not like a proper roundabout. Uh, anything else interesting in here? He's he's done some work over here. I mean, he's put put all these rocks here, put a bunch of buildings in here to make a, a town. I'm just curious if he's got like a like a bank or a cop shop or something like that. What's he got here? I can't tell. And then he's got some bigger housing out out here. Okay. I think there's gotta be restaurants and bars and stuff in here, doesn't there? Can't really tell. That's fine. It's cool that he's put the effort into it. All right, is there anything else? There's something over here. Oh, those are just houses. Those are rich people houses. Okay. All right, let's give her. Only slight Easter egg in a different area. I mean, I saw the Red Sox one. How's it going, Granger? So, yeah, I mean, cool that you've gone this route, going to Cape Cod. It'd be very easy for somebody to mistake this for, like, um, Hamptons. But, no, I Cape Cod, for sure. Ironically, the U.S. Open starts tomorrow in Boston, and it, it's nothing like this, obviously. Planting's really cool. But I, now that you've told me I might not get the Easter egg, I, I now I want to see it. <laughs> hmm. It's windy out here. Should be. Long, um, narrow green. Sloping towards the ocean. Cool. Nice little, nice opener there. Okay. Kind of a reverse Dan kind of going on here. Like it. Environment's really cool. Planting looks really nice. I'm, 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 I'm digging it so far. Don't know if this is enough club. Oh, the finals. No. Uh, Golden State and Boston, I think. Is that who ended up in the NBA finals? Hmm, 
Yeah, didn't hit that far enough up, so I had just a just a <laughs> a ball kicker of a putt. Um, if I hit a, if I hit more club, that would have worked to my advantage. That slope I had to putt through. So, eh. That's uh, that's good design. Yeah, I li I like the uh, I like this. I like the environment, um, and then I like this. There's some subtle. Oh man, that kicks right in there, does it? Shit. Um. Yeah, there's a little bit of subtlety in how you have to play each hole, which I like. I mean, I had to go way out to the right there. I didn't realize that. Uh, thanks for that bounce. <laughs> I don't think it's, um, I wasn't guessing that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this green is something else. I mean, the entire hole is just, it's all sloped right to left and you just, you got to play for it. So you got to aim way farther right than you think you do. I like that as well. All right. Oh, look at that for a view behind this little par three. Uh, let's try this. Oh, I wouldn't call this an easy course. And I, I just, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, red slow, shanked, goes in. Sounds about right. Not a huge amount of bunkering out here. The bunkering that is here is serving its purpose very nicely. But I like, I mean, I don't think you want a whole lot of bunkers out here. Oh, now what am I going to do? Uh, safe is over here, but that angle is just miserable. With this wind, I mean, ideally you'd get it up top there, but I don't think you can. With this wind. Uh, maybe I'll try and hit it a little shorter and keep it as far left as I can. It's reverse. Oh, it is too. Okay. Reverse cam. So re it's not a reverse camera dog leg. It kind of is, I guess, but it's more, it's reverse camera to the angle that you want to hit it into the green. So you got to hit a hell of a shot to get a, a good shot at this. Otherwise you're doing what I'm do doing. I got bugger all of any green, green to work with. And my tempo is all over the place right now. Oh, another fortunate bounce. Yeah, they absolutely do. Just with with how narrow this green is and with how it's angled. Yeah, the angles matter big time. Definitely some thought put into that. Oh, we're never getting here into. Uh, you got a hinkle tree stopping me going down the other fairway. Good, good job. Uh, I'm into this wind. I don't think it matters much. And just like things like the planting here, and then it just stops, and that's your pathway up to the fairway. So you, you're not like, you're not having to cut fairway here. It just kind of naturally is there. I like that. There's our tempo. Hammers one two eighty, leaves themselves three oh nine. I don't even think we're getting to that. This is downhill, really? Huh. Interesting. Uh oh, I it, there's a kicker slope. I gotta try this. This is not the play at all, but there's a kicker slope there. I gotta try it. Mm. 
I still didn't get it far enough left. Uh oh. Oh, I hope this is an OB. It, sh it should be. Oh, maybe not. Huh. Well, that's not where I'm supposed to hit it. Yeah, that, that didn't come out. I had to aim that so far left to try. I mean, that's just... <laughs> that's that. Yeah, you got me, buddy. In my defense, I said before I hit the ball, this is not the play. Uh, yeah, I, Charlie going downwind, I imagine that would be a much different proposition because you'd actually be able to get there in two without trying to hit a driver off a side hill line. <laughs> um, I think it would be fun as hell downhill, to be honest with you. Uh, let me see here. Is this a pin dependent? It might be pin dependent which way you go. Yeah, that's how I play. Uh, can we fly this bunker with this wind? We might be able to. All right, let's get the like friggin' shakes out of our hands so we can actually get something resembling tempo because that's going to kick. Oh, it didn't kick in the rough. It rolled in there eventually, but I thought it was just going to bounce straight sideways. And, I mean, boy, would I have ever, ever be in better shape if I was on the fairway. I'm surprised that landed as softly as it did. I thought I was going to be... Oh, that's why. There's a ridge there. Okay. Yeah, this, um... This this false edge at the back is what really makes you think about the angle. Cause coming from here, you've got a lot more room to land it if you need to. Whereas coming from here, you're coming more over the corner of it. And yeah. Hey Scoop. Hmm. Tough putt. Really well thought out the strategy of this. The environment's really cool. Um, there's some design nerdy stuff going on that I imagine people are enjoying as well. Yeah. Lots it's a lot of subtle strategies, exactly right. I love that. I get fast at a wedge again. I mean, I love subtle strategy. <laughs> I hate downhill putts, though. All right. Then that's good. Then I can understand it. Because I don't get a lot of that stuff. Oh, back back to back threes, right? I had a little shorty and then a, a a long one. Yeah, okay. That's cool. One after the other. If I'm over here, I can just chip it up there, can't I? Because either that or I'm I'm gonna have to hit. Ah, what channel am I on? I'm going to end up flailing it over here anyways. A nice little safe area there to play to if, you, if you're not feeling like going at the, the pin. There's that flat right there. A flat area that you can just chip up the green. Make a fairly simple par. You want to try and go at it? Well, that's a different proposition. Oof. Oh, where's that going?
Yeah. I mean, you should be able to make par on this hole. Making birdies tough. It's good. Because we just had a short par, f um, par three. And then we start the bat. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I do not want to be down there. Oh my god, do I ever not want to be down there. But I also don't want to... F oh man. If you bail on this too, you're going to be chipping straight down the, the uh, hill. You're dead. This is cool. It's entirely possible that hitting or laying up here is the play. I'm not even going to get there. Another nice bounce. Man, I'm getting a lot of nice bounces here. All right, Charlie. Have a good one, buddy. Break a bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Mm. Yeah, look at that for a view. But yeah, I just, I love the way that you've, you've got, the way that this screen is sloped, it just makes a short par four, one where your tee shot, you're really thinking about what are you going to do? Because if you, if you hang it up in that rough on the left, I don't know what you're going to do for a second shot. You might just walk right down over here and then just, you know, wait for the ball to get there. Um... And if you go down the right, well, that's not a fun chip. So you could lay up and then hit a full wedge in here. I mean, it's very, it's very manageable to make a par. You can get lucky like I did. Yeah, that's a great short four. Thought about everything. Another example of a short par four that doesn't have a hazard that's really in play but has a ton of danger. Mm. Well, the wind's kind of forcing my hand here. Another fast. What the hell? I wanted to be farther right than this. All right. Yeah, another reachable and under regulation and the green is you don't want to miss it in the right. I mean, here you can you can bail a bit farther right and not be quite as dead. Um, I don't think you want to be on the left on the I don't think you want to miss this left though to this pin. Oh. Okay. Um, as we're playing the back nine, for those watching on YouTube, uh, consider hitting like and subscribe. Helps the channel a ton. Um, helps people see the courses that these guys create. Um, need an audience because they create great courses. We're on our goal is eventually get to a thousand subscribers so that we might be able to monetize this thing and get a couple cents a day. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, I would really appreciate that if you guys could help out with that. Oh, look. Okay. This hole looks like it's nothing, right? It looks like you just hammer a driver down here and then just do whatever. I don't know about that. Like, I'm playing a 374-yard hole, and I'm looking at the green before I hit my tee shot, because I'm trying to figure out what shot I want to have in here. I'm going to hit driver, because I think it'll get me far enough down there that I might be able to hit a pitch, which I can then stop. Not a pitch. I meant a fl uh, splash. Oh, no. Wrong. Okay, well, let's do the uh, super spin lob then. Or flop.
Yeah. You know what? That this is another example of the uh short game in this just completely killing a hole that should have been so much more difficult. I should like 44 yards out to that pin should have been an absolute nightmare. And it, so it would have really rewarded a person laying up and leaving themselves a full shot in. But because the short game in this game is so easy, it just takes it all away, which is really unfortunate. That hole is a lot more difficult than that. And then, yeah, just the strategy just keeps on going, right? You gotta go to the left, get as close to the bunker as you can. Give yourself the best angle in, and because of the way that slope is, did I see that right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, that slope on the right isn't going to be much fun coming in from the right. Uh, with this wind, though. Hmm? What are you talking about, Troy? Tried to cut that back into the wind. Hold it up. Nope. Oh. Came way short. Not meant to be a punish shot. Get at. Okay. Yeah, 12. Yeah, I, I mean, I what, it, what I saw it as, as it was a very subtle strategic hole that doesn't, I mean, it looks like it's just open and hammer it, right? I, I sensed there was some strategy there, and that um, that my second shot should have been more difficult than it ended up being. Oh, but you're talking about the drive, that getting to where I was was, there wasn't much room to get there. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, knowing that the short game is what it is, was that part of the thought process then of having the hogs back as the in the fairway? Uh, where do I want? To, yeah, I want to be as far right as I want as I can, don't I? <sighs> when the wind's right to left, I'm fasting it. When the wind's right left to right, I'm slowing it. That's not a recipe for a good score. Okay, this is me running. This, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to have to accept my fate here. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Either way, I'm really enjoying that... Um, Subtle st strategy we've got going on here. I don't think. Uh, so, I mean, I would say I flew a little close to the sun trying to keep it down the right. And I just, I missed the shot is what happened. And so because of that, I end up with a really difficult chip. That I'm able to get up and down, just... No, it wasn't necessarily lucky, but... Yeah, and it just keeps on... It just keeps on coming. And this wind, oh my goodness. This isn't a very wide ferry, but it cameras to the right, or to the left, doesn't it? So with this wind, it actually might help. Because it'll kind of kick it back down the fairway, I think. The bunkers, nice, nice little decoration bunkers there. I wouldn't say bunkers have been the primary defense of the course, and that's fine. Mm, they might be, Troy. They do seem a bit taller than normal. 
little helping slope so I can aim it farther left and get it near that pin than I might think. Oh my god. Or I can just shank it off the green right and be dead. <laughs> Jeez, well that's a career up uh, career um splash out of there. I don't know, maybe I wasn't aiming left enough in the first place, but slowing that kill. I mean, I, and it was it was not far off being a red slow. No problem with that being dead. It was a terrible shot. Okay, so I'm gu guessing here, like you're going to have a lot of balls kind of collecting in this area. So getting close to that pin, you're going to have to run it kind of around here, sort of. Hmm. Just trying to see how... I don't think there's any danger in trying it. I just think it's going to be tough to pull off. Oh, we're left of it. Yeah, okay. Not the easiest chip in the world. It's just while I fasted it. But you have that collection area that, you know, you might you might knock in the odd birdie putt, but you're probably gonna two putt par it. Or you try and get aggressive like I did. And if you miss it left, it's a downhill chip, which usually isn't gonna be very much fun. Um So yeah. Hang on. Definitely a three shotter here. Uh okay. Just trying to think because I know where I'm gonna have to hit my second shot. I'm or I'm trying to look to see where I'm gonna have to hit my second shot to. Very cool, um this you know, bluffs I guess kinda. Okay. Do I want to get it up here with a three wood? Hmm. Yeah. I didn't play for the wind enough. Come on. Kick it out of there. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Come on. Might be okay. I mean, with this wind, it's certainly not an easy course. Oh. A little backboard to help me out. The beans aren't moving at all. If anything, they're coming a bit this way. Yet the putt breaks left, apparently. Okay. Okay. Ghost break. Hates me! And then we're finished. Oh, we're almost done. That sucks. Road hole. I know this one. It is OB. Makes sense. Uh, and of course, the closer you get to the road, the better yang they get. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, with this wind, I gotta go over here. Uh-oh. Slow down. 
Jeez. And you got the pin here and a little bit of a bowl, so... Should I be a little bit cheeky on this shot? I think I should. Oh no, I left it short. <laughs> oh no. That's what I get. Oh, I was gonna be all cheeky and just like land it here and let it just feed right down. Nope. Should have just taken another club, so just put some spin on it and just played it normal. Watch me bogey this now. Clubhouse looks amazing. Um, really fits the area. I you think you nailed this one, dude. This is really, really good. Um, really cool finish, too, where you've got a, a three-shot five. And then you've got that par four that I imagine that plays all kinds of different ways, depending on what the wind is like. Um, like, downwind, you could probably sniff the front edge, almost. Maybe not, with the way the green is shaped, but you can get awfully darn close. Into the wind? You might, you might have like a good full, you know, 8-9 iron in. Yeah, and again, just every strategy is nailed. Like, there, there wasn't a single hole where I was questioning why the hole was created the way it was. I was like, yeah, okay. This makes sense like this, and this makes sense. It's, yeah. It's really, really good. Um, one of my favorites of the competition so far. For sure. Great job, man. Great job. For those watching on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have another course here in the near future. For now, I'm going to say cheers.